Welcome Aries. Hi. I know I look a little different today, but whatever. It's fine. <laughs> okay. So I wanted to do a quick video for you guys for the energies for Recovery Tarot, Searching and Fearless. Oh my God. What the hell is going on? Anyways. All right. Let's not worry about that. Okay. Let's start with the prayer, Aries. Father God, Holy Spirit, thank you so much for everything you give for us. Thank you for another day not promised. Thank you for all the beautiful blessings you give to us, all the guidance and love. We are nothing without it or you. Please let this information be for Aries. The Aries Recovery Collective, what do they need to know for their highest good? Please only let those that walk in the light in. What information do they need to know for their highest good? Okay, Gemini and Sagittarius. Okay. This is interesting because the first thing that I hear is initiation, initiation, information, and initiation. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys are working on um, grounding the information that you've been studying for a while. Or you're, maybe you're, some information is coming in for you and it's changing the way that you see the world. It's changing the way that you understand things. <clears throat> Okay, some of you are really super guarded right now when it comes to financial issues um, and financial money. Um, I feel like for some of you, a lot of people have been coming in with their opinions on how you should spend your money or how you need to keep money or how you want to move in the world. And it's really frustrating for you. So it's giving you this blocked energy of like, ugh, whatever, I don't want to deal with it. Um, but you are building, you are building your own finances. You're building your own legacy. Um, this feels a lot like your... Um, branching out of whatever you were accustomed to do or whatever whatever you grew up doing um, or whatever perspective you grew up knowing how to move through the world. It's changing. It's moving. Yep. Home. You're healing a lot of same things from the past with the chariot. Okay. Chariot talks about being at home. It talks about a balance of the light and the dark. This feels like you're stepping into yourself. Um, this definitely, I keep hearing initiation over and over again. Um, with the healing, there's a lot of healing coming in with this Knight of Cups. It's like you, whatever happened in the past or whatever you had to overcome, you're not letting it get to you. You're not letting, you're not letting your heart close. Um, I think for some of you, you could be in the process of opening up your heart again. Okay. Um, I feel like some of you are frustrated because you feel like you're cut off emotionally, or you just feel like this isn't a time to connect with people, or you feel really uncomfortable doing it. Um, but you're pushing through that barrier. You're pushing through the discomfort when it comes to that. And that is so key and so essential. Just make sure you're giving your energy to people that actually give a shit about you and have your highest good in mind. <laughs> Hermit, the King of Cups and Justice. What is this? Um... Yeah, you're, you're... You're glowing up. I don't care if you're a dude. I don't care if you're non-binary. I don't care if you're a chick. You're glowing up. You're you're moving places. Because you're coming in as the Knight of Cups. And then after this hermit mode, after this self-discovery, after this assertion of self, you become the King of Cups. King of Cups is beautiful. And that's the justice that needs to happen here. I feel like for some of you, a, a lot of chaos has gone on in the last year. A lot of just like... I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. Um, yeah, this is the ending of a cycle. You're ending this cycle of being impulsive. You're ending this cycle of being too much. Um, you're also ending the cycle of blocking yourself off. I feel like all of that is coming to an end. Maybe in the past you've, you've, come, you've run into a lot of um, fierce energy, a lot of crazy ass dynamics. Um, and it, you know, Aries, it's like you guys learn through opposition, you learn through challenge and rivalry. So that's why when people say like, oh, let's all be peaceful and, and no, Aries is a prime example of why you shouldn't be peaceful because that's not your mission. That's not what you're here to accomplish. Um, you're here to be strong. You're here to initiate the charge. You're here to go on new adventures in life, despite if they look like a shit show or not. You don't care. You see fear and you walk past it. You don't give a fuck. And that's, you know, you're closing this cycle in a good way. 
Um, for some of you, I feel like you're closing your bachelor or bachelorette hood, your single hood. You may be wanting to come into an actual relationship, maybe for the first time in a long time. <laughs> That's what this feels like. You're like, oh shit, I actually have the ability to open up my heart. I'm not some, you know, chaotic robot just trying for adventures. Chaotic robot? I don't know where that came from. Anyways. Okay, um, some of you could be working too much. Um, some of you could be having this issue where um, I feel like there's a lack of self-confidence when it comes to this. Um, it's like sometimes being a workaholic is really good if you're dedicated and achieving to your craft. I feel like I'm talking to a lot of entrepreneur Aries or people with like heavy Mars placement in the first house. Um, but you're you're becoming a little bit destabilized by it. With Gemini and Sagittarius, I almost feel this like into this need to intellectually um get your ideas out there, get your process out there, but make sure that you're not doing it so fast that you make half-hearted decisions because those half like what you give to the universe is what the universe is going to give back to you, right? So it's like these half-hearted decisions are only coming with half-hearted manifestations or half-hearted things that are coming into your world that you're like, eh, these are all right, you know. Um, I keep hearing in my head intellectual superiority, okay, guys, guys, guys. We know we know that that's not going to work out. Um, please, please, please do me a favor and really try hard not to use, not to use your smart, intelligent ways as a means of self-sabotage because that's what this feels like it feels like there's some self-sabotage here it feels like there's this competition that needs to be had but it's mainly with yourself it's mainly with um you not understanding that th there is no competition that needs to be had this is all divine timing and this is exactly your purpose and there's no need for you to um over express that over be that you know you just need to be that um some of you could be really having an inner struggle when it comes to like a counterpart or um a person a partner i'm really like it picking up a lot of struggle with like finding balance in partnerships You could be thinking of a past love. You could be thinking of um, someone, someone that you used to date. There's a decision and there's going to be a lot of hard work, but I feel like for some of you, Aries, this is just for some of you, not all of you, but I feel like I'm talking to a collective um, that really struggles with really struggles with finding partners that are a good match for them. Sometimes maybe you can find partners that are a little bit toxic or don't have your best interest in mind or only want what they want and they don't really want to hear what you have to say. Um, for you, I feel like you're going back into the past. This is for some of you, not all of you. You're going back in the past and you're seeing the one person who stayed stable throughout it all. Maybe this was a person that you could have easily overlooked in your younger years. But this is somebody that you have to make a decision whether you want to work hard for, whether you want to, whether you want to make the desired changes that are necessary in order for you to be in a healthy, loving relationship, you know, um, you're really struggling with that right now. You know, it doesn't surprise me that you're struggling with that right now. I was just reading up about Aries last night and it was, you know, it was talking about how um, you guys are the exact opposite of Libra for a reason, you know, like you... Libra is talking about trying to attain balance, trying to find balance, and actually having the will to want to find balance with other people, right? But with Aries, it's like you guys are self-starters. You guys are the initiates. You guys had to do everything yourselves. And I'm sure a lot of your life with the conflict that's happened and the conflict that you've had to learn from, it's like, I don't fucking know if I want to be with other people because it never really tends to work out anyways. And I'm happier like this. And what if these, you know... Um, this partner is necessary. This partner is there for you. This partner has remained um, dedicated to themselves and that's what you're attracted to. 
So I don't feel like this person, this Queen of Pentacles, this could be a, a man, woman, doesn't matter. Gender doesn't matter here. Queen of Pentacles is someone who's a little bit more subtle. Someone who is very strong in their purpose. Someone who knows what they want, what they're passionate for, and they're willing to go and get it despite the results. They're going to keep getting punched in the face in order to get through their dreams. I don't know why I'm channeling that, but that's it. That's what I'm channeling. Um, and with this, with this energy, it's like, there's this beautiful, stable energy within itself that doesn't need you. And I think that, <laughs> I honestly think that's what attracts you to this individual. I think that's what attracts you to them. I think there's a little bit of mystery behind this person as well. So it's like, wait, like, you know, how are you so chill with like this when 99.9% .9 of the people I've been with haven't been chill with this? It like, it kind of breaks your brain a little bit. <laughs> which is fine. It just means that you're evolving. It means that you don't have to do it alone anymore. Okay. It, there is such thing as intradependence or interdependence where you two, you two and your couple are doing your own damn thing and you're coming together and you're loving each other and you're supporting each other and your passion and your purpose. That's the dream. Don't be scared because that hasn't happened in the past. Okay. Just because that hasn't happened in the past doesn't mean it can't happen now. Or maybe you haven't even given it a chance, Aries. Okay. All right, let's pick up what up. What, what else do we see? I apologize for the weird lighting, but I told myself I was going to take today off and then I got inspired like I always do. Hi. Okay. Pluto. Wow. Um, this person could possibly be bringing um, issues of childhood up, and I know that they may not seem connected right now, but those issues from childhood are about not feeling good enough, um, feeling like a failure in your past pursuits, feeling like you haven't you haven't achieved what you've set out to achieve, but I feel like you like a, there was a, a point in your life where you were just like, fuck it, I'll do it by myself. And it's hindered you in a lot of different ways. It's And so this person is almost resurrecting this feeling from the dead because this is something that's been suppressed for a very long time. In the sixth house, sixth house talks about health. It talks about nine to five job. It talks about the stuff that we do day to day, what happens in the day to day, um, serving others, helping others. Um, maybe this person is opening up your heart a little bit more. Maybe this person is helping you to emotionally connect more than you have been able to for a long time. Page of Cups, the Magician. What's this Six of Cups about? There's some shame behind this. I can't. But there's no shame in learning. There's no shame in trying. There's no shame in expressing yourself. I mean, I know that this is scary because this is something that's been suppressed for a while, but there's no shame in it there's none yeah there's a lot of healing that can actually come from this i keep hearing some of you want to have children with this person children 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 magician you're working up the opportunity you're working up the opportunity to offer maybe some of you don't know how to offer but i'm telling you right now it feels like that other person that's kind of been in the wings for a while maybe there's someone new but this feels like someone that you have a history with. Um, maybe they'll think your vulnerability is cute. Maybe they stuck around for a reason, you know? You never know. It's always worth a try. Oh, Aries, you are worthy of marriage. You are worthy of a partnership. Don't think that you're going to fuck it up every time. I feel heavily like you feel like you're going to fuck it up not the other person because this other person has been around for a while and they've been just chilling they're like on their own island chilling being in their passions have faith have faith in yourself have faith that this is happening for a reason have faith that this person is on your mind for a reason this person is going to help you grow maybe it might not look pretty you know maybe there could be confrontation in the future i don't know maybe you guys could actually love each other enough to call each other out who knows but you never know unless you try and you absolutely are worthy of a partnership. If this person has been on your mind for a while or been around for a long time and they've been chill, there's a reason why this person stuck around. 
and I, you know, it doesn't feel like this person necessarily stuck around. It's just like you guys have been in each other's orbit for a really long time. And maybe now you're just getting back to feeling like you want to be a little closer than an orbit to the person. Yeah, there's no clarity going on here. There's no clarity going on. Just take small steps every day. That's the best advice I can give you. Take small steps every day. And don't try to act so damn cool. <laughs> I feel like when you when you try to act cool and you kind of block yourself off and you're you don't speak with your heart. That's like what I'm getting in my head. Speak with your heart. Speak with your heart. And you won't have this. Ace of Swords is talking about clarity, right? So like you see the you see the cloud right here, the gray cloud, and it's coming through with a with a crown. I forgot the word. <laughs> it's coming through with a crown. But when it's in reverse, there's no idea. There's no there's just all this letting go and unsure these unsure stories that are evolving in your head, and you're like, damn it. Like, what can I do about this person? How? Don't worry about that. Just do what you can to move forward. And I, I honestly feel like with Queen of Pentacles, you need to move forward with, with vulnerability. I'm not saying you have to be a creep and like add everything to the table right away, but this is going to happen for you. This is going to happen for you. Chariot comes up again. Knight of Wands comes up again. Here you show up as the knight. You're going towards home. You're going towards home. I feel like you know that. You don't need the confirmation. This could be something you've been thinking about for a while. That you've been like, oh, this is your confirmation. That cycle is over. You deserve a relationship. You deserve love. And you worked your ass off all by yourself. All by yourself. It's time to share that with somebody. Somebody who's worthy. Someone who's going to be by your side. Someone who's going to stick by you through everything. Because you're coming home. You're going home. Don't be scared. I know you've been away for a while. But it's time to come home. And trust me, dinner's waiting for you. Anyways, love you guys. I'll talk to you later.